The NCR took back Nelson. Maybe they can win this war after all. If by the NCR took back Nelson, you mean pawn to E6, then yes. You can't move a pawn to E6 unless you're using en passant. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> you have no idea! <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing about chess! <laughs> Welcome, sir, or- Shut up, Vendertron! You got a tiny head! 12 gauge... Oh, he only has 12?! Hooray, you can double your amount of ammo! <sighs> <laughs> we'll berate Isaac for not giving you more. Isaac! I don't handle buying and selling for the gun runners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. Look at this guy already having an excuse queued up. He knows he was gonna get a vocal reaming. You're the first person I saw, so I'm buying and selling from you. And if that's not the case, then I want to speak to your manager! I am the customer, and oh. this is pretty much every gun shop ever. I see. Now you're on the giving end instead of the receiving end. Yeah, um, excuse me, I ordered a gun three and a half months ago. And it's not here yet, and that's entirely your fault. Where's my gun, sir? And I am the wife who has never fired a gun before, but wants to know the difference between a 9mm and an 8mm. Uh, Contreras sent me. McCarran needs a lot more pots and beans. Let's see. That's like the bullets and firearms. Is that what you're alluding to? <laughs> okay, just making sure we're on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, is he serious? The 25% increase in weapons is doable. But a 50% increase in ammunition is nuts. Just don't have the supplies on hand to meet that kind of demand for new weapons. I mean, just give McCarran some used weapons, as long as they work, right? Sorry, but blackening our reputation with our biggest client isn't worth the risk. Who else are they gonna buy guns from? Yeah! You're giving guns to a bunch of soldiers, they don't know the f***ing difference. <laughs> They're stupid! I You're just gonna break them anyway! I tried to put my magazine in my injection port. I I'm an idiot, yeah. Injection port? It does your rifle have an injection port? Is it turbocharged now? Well, if you can't give them used weapons, then just buy the supplies from other merchants around here. What other merchants? Half the guns you make are crap anyway. Oh hell no. Working with our competition is not an option. Since you want to be Mr. Whiny Pants, my name's Isaac. I wear a t-shirt. I'm a dumb idiot. Since you want to be Mr. Isaac, who's a dumb idiot... <laughs> yes, wearing a t-shirt is indicative of stupidity. Now well, it's a dirty t-shirt. Wash your t-shirt! Maybe I can help you with those supplies. Look, we just need metal, and lots of it. We can handle the weapons, but we just need extra scrap to melt down for the bullets. I'll give you some caps for each piece of metal you bring me. Anything like scrap, cans, or any basic junk made of metal will do. I'll need at least a hundred pieces to have enough for the bullets. A hundred pieces! That's a lot of metal! There's an I-beam right behind you! Oh, they can't take that down! It's cosmetic! It's for appearances! Oh, for God's sake! Really quick fun story. Anytime I got rounds that were bent or something, I would just pull the bullet out of them and dump the gunpowder into a bucket. Wait, 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 you got rounds that were bent? If you had a misfeed and the round got jammed partially in the chamber and the bolt closed on it, it oh. would bend up the round and then you can't use it. Is that um, frequent? Well, especially with military guns that are handled by a bunch of idiots that don't know how to put stuff together properly. Fair enough. So I would just dump the gunpowder into a bucket and eventually I had a five gallon bucket that was completely filled with gunpowder. So I had all this gunpowder laying around and I was like, I don't know what to do with it. I'm gonna build a little tiny cannon. You're gonna build a tiny cannon out of all of this gunpowder that's lying around? Well, I was gonna use the gunpowder for a tiny cannon. It seems like a fire hazard to leave that around. Isn't that stuff combustible? Well, I would seal it in the bucket. I would put the lid on the bucket. So safe. There's no OSHA in Iraq. <laughs> they don't care. So the first generation of the cannon was like a little metal pipe that I plugged up the back of it and drilled a little tiny hole in it and I stuck a metal bobbering and I would ignite it with a torch and it would go... <clears throat> Do nothing. It, it went like two inches. So I built another one, but the ball bearing wasn't exactly the right size, and it just launched the cap out of the back of it. And I was like, okay, well, that was dumb. <laughs> so we gotta use more gunpowder! Eventually, I had built a, what I thought was a really good cannon. I threaded the end of the piece of pipe, I put a little cap on it, and then I put a little tiny square of fabric behind the ball bearing, and I jammed the ball bearing down there, and I put it in a vise. <laughs> so elaborate! And I lit it. The ball bearing shot out at such velocity that it went straight through the roof of our motor pool. <laughs> and I don't know what happened to it because I had built a muzzle loader. <laughs> I basically built a 30 caliber muzzle loader. So you had a tiny hole in your ceiling? Not that anybody noticed because it was really high up and also the ceiling already had a bunch of holes in it. But yes, I built a 30 caliber muzzle loader and I'm really glad that nobody was standing anywhere near the front of it and it didn't ricochet off something and hit somebody in the head because I could have accidentally killed somebody with this stupid little thing that I thought would be funny to build. 
Idle hands are the idiot's play thing. Yeah, so the moral of the story is don't try to build small cannons in your in your motor pool. It's a really bad idea. You'll probably end up killing somebody. You're the reason they put warning labels in the back of these things. You proud of that? Did you take it home with you or did someone take it from you? Uh, no, the moment it went poof, because it was loud. Oh, yeah. I don't think it was breaking the sound barrier, but it was loud. I couldn't hear out of one of my ears, and the moment it fired, I went... I'm going to get in so much fucking trouble. I took the pipe out of the vice that I had it in, cut it up with a plasma torch, and threw it into the scrap bin. So did anyone come by asking about that? I'm assuming that somebody else probably heard it go off. I just went, oh, fucking Zach. <laughs> it reminds me that I was working at the back of the warehouse, the medical warehouse, where all yeah. the unsupervised kids were doing data entry. And we found some dry ice. <laughs> <laughs> First time, oh yeah, kids are so excited about it. And we put them all in a two-liter bottle, and we dumped some water in there, and nothing happened. Oh, that's disappointing. So we kicked the bottle into the ditch behind the place, and uh-huh. went back to work. And about an hour later, it went off. <laughs> it sounded like a gunshot, only even louder than that. Yes. Yeah, it's, it, it sounded like a bomb going off, because you made a bomb! <laughs> it did not go unnoticed. For for today, we have to work with Isaac and Contreras. All right, Isaac, now that we've told those stories, do you have enough scrap metal yet? No, not yet. <laughs> what about now? No, not yet. What's this I found over here? Collapsed tin cans? A 100 count pack? How about that? Oh, look! A 100 bent tin cans! I have some scrap metal for you. Looks like that last bit you brought me was enough to fill the quota. Make sure to let Contreras know the extra guns and ammo will be in the next shipment. We just scrounged a bunch of metal out of the garbage can and gave it to him. Yeah. I'll, I'll take the money, sure. It's just like when I would scrounge lunch out of the garbage cans. Yeah, I would just eat food out of the garbage can. It's free. And it was in a plastic bag, inside a paper bag, inside the garbage can. It's fine. It's edible. Uh, I'm not gonna Obviously, I'm not going to eat it if it's covered in SpaghettiOs. <laughs> this is the least strange thing I've heard about you. I don't know why I'm bringing this up. You're right. Digging through the garbage for food is not strange. Do you remember in high school when I would bring my lunch to school in a military ammo can? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it made my food smell weird. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, because it was made, they were made of steel. weirdo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go yell at Contreras. <laughs> if you don't know the person that you're on guard duty with, you start talking about dumb crap, and then eventually you're singing Disney movie songs to each other. <laughs> yes! Why does it always devolve into that? Because we all grew up at the same time, so we all know Disney music. Every, every... So you're just on guard duty, just going, I can show you the <laughs> <Yeah>. world. <laughs> Shining, shimmering splendor. That's so accurate. Contreras, where are you? Contreras. How's it going, Contreras? So you're back. Isaac said there'll be extra pots and beans in the next shipment. Very professional. I like that. Maybe you can handle something bigger. I probably can. Great. The Crimson Caravan has something ready for me. Look for Blake and let him know you're picking up Contreras' medical supplies. Ooh, you need medicine? I didn't realize you were sick. I hope you get better soon. Get plenty of rest and drink plenty of toilet margaritas. <laughs> toilet sangria? <laughs> toilet sangria, yeah. Thanks. Don't come back until you have it. Crimson Caravan is just northeast of the Gunrunners. Blake's usually in the main office. I know where it is. <laughs> yeah. Good lord, acting like I've never been outside of this area. Here, I'll mark it on your pit boy. Contreras, take this. There's a file in the beans. You know, if you were serving, you'd probably be halfway to general by now. Are you managing this tiny little corner store? This tiny corner store, which, <laughs> um, half of their products are broken. This is an ice-cold Nuka-Cola. <laughs> oh, refrigeration works, does it? <laughs> jailbreak! Jailbreak! Go find him! He used the file! He <laughs> used the file that was in the beans! How did he escape? Where'd he go? Did he go back to his other cell? Like, oh, was, the other bed was more comfortable. No, he actually left! Okay. He actually escaped! <laughs> Someone painted fuck the NCR. Kill NCR on the side of this. Probably a bunch of fiends. I realized as I start getting older. God! Hey! Come on, guys! I'm in the middle of story time! Speak of the devils! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I've noticed that as I get older, I love tools more. I go to the hardware store and just salivate over a bunch of different power tools. Oh man, if I had money, you would bet I'd have this. Oh god, Crescent Ranch! Hey, remember this golf club? Blonde, your boss. Ha 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 ha! 
thumbs up. Ah, ah! <laughs> Why'd you shoot me? <laughs> I think today was productive. We cleaned up a few streets, helped some needy kids, planted a tree. Oh, wait. That was some other guy. Don't worry. I shot him. <laughs> I was gonna make bacon at my house, and I kept burning my hands on it, so I put on Nomex gloves from when I was in the military. What are Nomex gloves? Nomex is a material that if it catches fire, it smolders, it doesn't melt or anything. Mm. So they're, they're fire resistant? Yeah, they do not burn. They give them the pilots so that if their aircraft burns, the, the <laughs> Their hands survive. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Monorail. 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 Monorail! Is there a chance the track could bend? Not on my life, my Hindu friend! <laughs> what about us brain dead slobs? You'll be given cushy jobs! Were you sent here by the devil? No, my good sir, I'm on the level! The ring came off my pudding can! Oh, I forget what he said. <laughs> Take my pen knife, my good man! <laughs> I swear it's Springfield's only choice! Throw up your hands and raise your voice! Monorail! 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 <laughs> Wait, is it that way? I think it's that way. <laughs> We're so freaking lost and it's only t Where's the map? It's five blocks away! Crimson Caravan is just northeast of the gun runners. Blake's usually in the main office. I know where it is. If you're looking to buy or sell, you've come to the right man. The Crimson Caravan Company has the widest selection in the wasteland. Yeah, save us the sales pitch. Yeah, Contreras sent me for medical supplies. Here you go. Let him know he needs to make another payment if he wants more of this stuff. All right, I'll tell him. Is there anything special about him? Well, painkillers are easy to come by, but it isn't easy finding iodine, allergy meds, and a few of these other items. Why do you ask? I can tell that combining those with chemical cleaners would yield strong meth. Really? Huh. Never thought of that. The Crimson Caravan isn't really in the drug business. <laughs> Welcome to being a drug mule. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever pooped a balloon? See ya. Contreras, they caught you again, huh? <laughs> yeah. Just keep running out, they just keep putting you back in here. You'd think they would lock the cell door eventually. Yeah, you'd think so, but... No, I guess it's an honor system. They don't have money for locks and keys or anything. No, they don't. And if I know anything from Fallout 76, it costs like four springs and a bunch of scrap steel, so... So you're back. His medical supplies look a lot like chem ingredients. Really? I never noticed that. I'm just following orders here, moving supplies as needed. Okay, well, mm. I guess I believe you. Good. Does that mean you have those supplies? Yes, I do. They're right here. See, you're practically stealing caps from me. This work is so easy. There's one more job. It's a little more complicated, but I think you're up to it. I need to get some stuff sorted around. It's gonna take me a day or two, so just stop back in a few days. But I'm ready for the next task. Well, I'm not. Come back tomorrow and the stuff will be ready to transport. So you're back. Ready for the next task. All right. I need you to pass something off to a merchant. The guy's name is Price. The exchange goes down at Miguel's Pawn Shop in Westside. This next bit is very important. He's paranoid. Maybe a little schizo. You have to identify yourself with a passcode or he'll shoot you right there. <laughs> Just tell him you're looking for some betting advice. Then he'll say the surest move is to bet on the house. Does it mean anything? Yeah, it means you don't get shot. Nice watches, dork. I'll keep that in mind. Be sure you do. Get moving. Watch out for raiders and do not lose that package. Good luck. Usually for these verification phrases, we pick a word or two. You don't have a specific phrase you have to say. People can just listen in on the phrase you're saying and repeat the same phrase. Mike, we're better spies than Contreras is. <laughs> Big shock, right? Wait. Whoa! What? Hold on a Come second. On. <laughs> what the hell? Brotherhood is steel initiate. Also, what? you're really tall, Mr. Redbeard. Uh, no, let's not gloss over this. Brotherhood is steel initiate. Mortal enemy of the NCR. Walking right by NCR HQ. Like, uh, like it ain't guys, nothing. Guys. Guys, there's a br Brotherhood of Steel right here. He's trying to sneak in. <laughs> oh, I guess the Brotherhood of Steel is just pulling guard duty now. <laughs> okay, fine. This game. Should we do something about it? Nope. <laughs> Obviously, this <laughs> there's two of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. They May don't even have a gun. Maybe they're emissaries. They're here to talk. What the hell? Oh, Volt's back alive. She got better. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> Oh my god! 
I don't even know what's happening anymore. <laughs> let's go talk to Price. Uh, let's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here to do business? Me buy things. <laughs> How many shotgun shells does he have for you? Four. Hooray! Until next time. I go now, Miguel. What do you want? I'm looking for a man named Price. You seen him? We work together. I'm handling his deliveries for the moment while he handles a business opportunity that came up. I see. Mm. I'm looking for some betting advice. What? Look, do you have something to drop off or not? Hey, wait a minute! That wasn't the right response for the secret passcode that Contreras gave me! <laughs> password? <laughs> that little bastard said nothing about a password. Price is in NCR custody and you're going to join him. <laughs> Hand over your weapons, you're under arrest. I love- WHAT?! I love how that was an intelligence check, yet it's obviously the thing you shouldn't have said. I was gonna try and get out of trouble, but I don't like how you're talking to me, so you'll never take me alive, you filthy donut-eating pig! Good. Saves me paperwork. No, oh, we're gonna have to murder this guy? No! Shall I fire up the rewind time machine and you could not make the obvious mistake again? Yeah, we need to go backwards in time now. All right. Well, excuse me, Mr. Keller, we haven't met before. What do you want? Yeah, Contreras told me to give Price this package. Let's see here. <laughs> you just gave it to him anyway! Congratulations. You're under arrest for chem trafficking. Hand over your weapons and come with me. Who the hell are you? Ranger Keller. I've been undercover for months tracking chems in this area. This has to be the easiest catch yet. I had no idea that package had chems. Contreras gave it to me. Contreras, huh? We suspected he was involved somehow. It looks like you just gave me the evidence I've been looking for. Look, man, I'm just the messenger. I didn't know anything about this. I'm a courier. Is that a charisma check in this game? You know what? I believe you. You're free to go. Contreras, however, won't be moving drugs ever again. Cool. What's gonna happen to him? He's gonna go to jail! He'll be shot. He'll be shot? We have no tolerance for chem dealers in the military. Alright, well, I'll be on my way then. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Stay out of trouble. Quest over! <laughs> Should we rewind time and do something else? Uh, this thing's getting hot. I don't want to touch it anymore. <laughs> Should we, should we do this over to not get Contreras killed? If you want to, I know you've never done this quest before. I've Maybe. never done this one before, so I have no idea what's even happening right now. <laughs> Alright, I'll fire it again, hope it doesn't explode. Alright. Mike, I think the rewind time machine exploded. Oh, uh, I better rewind time so it doesn't happen. What do you want? Hello, killer, we are drug runners. Here's a package from Contreras. You're free to go. Contreras, however, won't be moving drugs ever again. I realized that you just caught me smuggling drugs and could literally give me the death penalty. But why don't I, uh, bribe you with these 250 caps? Slides them across the counter, but there's no counter, so they fall to the floor again. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't normally do this. But seeing so much money change hands between scumbags on a daily basis has me thinking. I'm never going to be able to track all of these bastards down without some help. And Contreras seems to be a central hub of activity. Tell Contreras I'm willing to put in a good report with the brass if he cooperates. Just give me a cut of the action, and report any major moves. There are so many shady dealings going on in this, it's just not even funny. <laughs> I realize we just rewound time to do this, but I kind of feel like everything would just be better and a lot simpler if Contreras was dead. No drugs allowed in the NCR execution! EXECUTION! I don't think I have any drugs. Do I have any drugs? Hang on. Aw, oh, shit. Buff out a drug! Son of a bitch, Mike, you have to take me in. I'm taking you to jail! Oh no! <laughs> because we have to go to Contreras to complete the quest. You're in jail! Yeah, I know, I'm in jail! Enjoy your new bunk, mate! Oh god. You're the only one bed, so I hope you like to cuddle. Are you gonna be the big spoon? I'm not gonna pry! You got any more of that toilet sangria? I'm hit. <laughs> oh no, he killed himself in prison! He banged his head against the toilet until he died! He just wanted that sangria so badly! <laughs> I've completed my mandatory 20 minute prison sentence. I feel like it was 10 minutes to me. I was let out. No, <laughs> let, out let out early for good behavior. I was let out early for good behavior. <laughs>
no, he's got the pork and beans. Everyone run for cover. <laughs>